Welcome to Tightwads with Cameras. Colton hasn't joined me yet, but we have today an awesome pack that came in the mail. Awesome pack is a monthly subscription, like a lot of the other deals out there, the Bentos, where you can subscribe and every month get a box delivered that is set to that theme. And Awesome Pack is a board game theme that's gotten a lot of rough reviews on BGG and out in the, the, the ether. It has rough reviews. Rough reviews. It's only taken us two months to get our first month. So. Well, we weren't even going to talk about it yet. See, <laughs> I was just setting up for what the video is about. Yeah. Well, what Awesome Pack is. And what we are going to do is a comprehensive review. This is our first ever Awesome Pack. We are going to end up getting two, so we'll do a quick review of the second one. This one, though, we're going to go through completely everything that's in here. We'll do it by value, by excitement, or you know, how we feel about what we got, and whether or not, you know, maybe, the only thing <coughs> I've heard really is that it would be good as a gift for yeah. somebody. And maybe we'll see if we agree with that assessment. Uh, my thing is I probably know none of these games, so don't expect much of excitement from me, but... And that's why we have another computer accessible. We've got the geek pulled up, and... Oh, that is not oh, going to show off. Work. We don't have the right kind of cameras for that, Colton. Colton, so kind of works, works, blinded. But... <laughs> You're you blinded, blinded him. me. Science. We'll be able to pull up whatever's in here. We'll be able to pull up values for it. We'll be able to pop, pull up popularity for it. And, of course, since we probably won't know the games very well, we'll be able to pull up a little information about it so we can give you a little bit of an idea of how great it is without having to play it. Later on, maybe we'll do videos of us actually playing some of these games, but we're getting really behind on posting our playthroughs as it is. So, in fact, we should uh, we could re record Arkham Horror next time. Have you ever posted the uh, playthrough of Formula D yet? No, did I even record Formula D? You recorded the first time you played Formula D when we absolutely failed at trying to play it. Oh, yeah, where we just totally got the rules wrong? Yeah. Those are the best ones to put on there, too. We will <laughs> get so many comments. That? No, I still haven't posted that. Have uh, I posted the D&D? &D? No, no. D&D &D is not even <laughs> close to ready. Because I don't want to put on, like, a 17-hour video. So it's, it's got to be... It's got to be really condensed and figured out. Too much editing. To do right now. Hi, dog. Every time the dog comes in and out, we'll have to make a cut, probably. Land shark. Land shark. <laughs> we can solve the problem just by grabbing him. Like, oh, we can show how much he's excited. I don't think that solves all the problem. It only solves part of the problem. He needs his nails clipped. Look at that. He does. Look at, Look at that. those things. It's horrible, buddy. You don't get your nails. You clip them. As much as you hate it. Oh, when he's walking around like here, all right, so the first thing we probably should talk about is our experience with Awesome Pack so far. <laughs> Which I wouldn't Colton, think. how would you grade <laughs> your Awesome Pack experience so far? My Awesome Pack experience? In, in what respect? Because you said we're doing a... What, what was the word you Comprehensive. used? Comprehensive. All right, which is so a bit too professional for us. In terms of their... Uh, Ability to deliver on time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Carry the one. Fail. Fail. I. I is, is there a letter after F? There, there probably is, but it's not known to the man. It's not known to man. F minus. F minus. Is it's like decent. Negative. Well, to be honest, I'm just surprised they gave us one at all. So we'll call it F plus for effort. We did get it in the end. If you're willing to be patient, right? If you're willing to be patient. If you're willing to be patient and you're not just sitting there like, oh my god, I ordered this. I expect it now. What? I expect it the day they told me it was supposed to come out. This is being recorded on September 10th. We just got this in the mail. Uh, when did you order this box? Early July. Probably. So it's been about two months. Mm-hmm. So about about two months from start of the process to now. And this is our first one. And this is the first one. And I actually paid for two. So I've got another one coming still. And that one also is late. 
So it's supposed to be about the third week or at least the last week of the month in which you bought it. And they actually have a countdown. If you want to get in in that month, you have to be before a certain date, which is about the 18th. Then they ship them out after that. Weren't they also, Supposedly. Weren't they also the ones that gave you a tracking number and you couldn't track it at all? Well, that, that like goes to some of the know. experience. I've actually, every, everything that happened to me had actually happened to other people who posted on Board Game Geek about this. So it's not like we're the first. But on YouTube, we are the first to do a review of Awesome Pack for quite a while. Are we? Yeah, it's been at least a couple years since oh. any reviewers have actually done a review of this, and I guess... And it hasn't improved. And it really <laughs> it hasn't improved since yeah. the last time anybody mentioned it on Board Game Geek that you have the chance of not getting it for a couple months, <laughs> that the customer service was going to be my next question, okay. how you would rate the customer service well, in a comprehensive review. Had to but I you didn't deal, deal with, with the it. customer service, so that's that's more your department here. You can. <laughs> your only option is to send an email, um, which is then responded automatically by an auto email ooh. system, and then this is going great so far. I mean, and if you respond to that with an angrier email, then eventually you will get an email <laughs> saying how you know sorry they are and. <laughs> They will send you a little something extra in your box, so there might be a little something extra in so here. So this is the, uh, this is like the board game. game. And then, yeah. You'll, this is the, this is a little the awesome meeple. box life meeple. hack of trying to get your awesome box. <laughs> yeah. Just send two letters. One then letter fairly nice, they have, one letter angry. And you'll get it eventually the next month. The one on their <laughs> on their website, they have tracking numbers for the, box, for the boxes when they're sent out. But the first one, of course, never dropped into a, a tracking number. It just said it was shipped. But no tracking number, so I had asked about it several times and finally complained, and then it got a tracking number, which I promptly put into tracking and said it had not been delivered at the... Or received, wasn't it? Had not been received by the sorting facility, by, uh, by the shipping agent yet, which means they printed off the label and made a tracking number, but never actually gave the package to the company to start delivering, is, is what happened. <laughs> and it's the exact same thing that somebody said happened on board Game Geek to them. The exact same thing, that when they complained, they got a tracking number, but trying the tracking number just proved that it had been put in a box with a label on it, but it had not been shipped out yet. Do you remember the date at all of when this happened? This was a couple of years at least. Was it a couple of years? So probably? this is not something that they've improved on. And we're we're gonna find out here in a few minutes if all this was worth it. Um, for me, I have to say I'm whelmed. Yeah, we're whelmed. First well, of all, well, uh, on this part well. of it, on this part of it, they don't get a great grade. But they're not the only ones who are slow to deliver on promises, <laughs> especially if you're used to. Um, nice, nice Kickstarter. Game. It can be two years. It can be months after it goes to the retail. So people at yep. retail can get it before you do. So this is just another thing in the board game industry. It's a little weird. And it may have a little bit to do with this. Maybe they wait on certain games to go clearance in certain stores before they start making these packs. That would be my first assumption. That they're trying to get bulk deals and so they have to wait until they get enough bulk deals to make their monthly pack. Yeah. And some months may be better than others. So I can't really fault them for being behind sometimes. I don't know that they're behind all the time. Just because what happened to us did happen to somebody else that also complained a couple years ago doesn't mean that it's always going to happen. Yeah, the more important thing, I think, is going to be the value of the package. The total of the package is $50. So for $50, you can go and you can pick a pretty good game and just buy it outright. So you can, most people's problem with packs like this is that you're getting something random. Now for us, we like that kind of random stuff. And for the people that like that kind of random thing, that's why we're trying to review this. Because obviously you're going to be better off spending your money on something you know you want. Right. And that seems to be the biggest criticism of this outside the customer service and shipping <laughs> issues there. We are tight wads, so we are definitely going to break down the value of this versus the value of, of buying them straight. 
and seeing if they at least gave us good value for that. Because otherwise, as tightwads, it still wouldn't be worth it, even though part of the tightwad philosophy actually is to enjoy going through things and finding new things that are, you know, just in messed up piles. Well, this is more of a, of a numbers examination of it. Is the number better? In this case, yes. Also, so. you can tell that um, the producer over there is one that keeps us on track. It's he trying remembers to. We, we don't really the know. producer is trying to keep us on track, but... Got a letter from the producer. Who says I'm um, actually trying to keep you on track? Well, you remember where we were and we didn't. Yeah, but you guys asked. <laughs> but you remember where we were and we didn't. Yeah, but you asked him where you were. Right. And when they finally did get you around to ask. sending it, it is priority two-day mail. So, good there. Something there, at least. I'm, I'm cool with that. See what we got here. Oh, we part of the pack, have okay. uh, the wait is over. It's awesome time. Caution, awesome pack. Spoilers inside. And this is tight watch packs. What we called ourselves. What also slides inside your mouth. Blah 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 blah. Okay, you've been awesome. See that part's cool. Uh, the little things we have. An Avenger Super Squishy. Super Squishy. A Super Squishy. Do you want to do the honors and open the Super Squishy? Super, super Squishy. These, they're like those little packs little, you can... Again, that's like two ninety nine, three ninety nine. How much of those things? See how you open it. Yeah. Five ninety nine at the most. The producer says, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's not five. It's not five It's not five ninety nine. It's like two dollars. So He'll open that and figure out what we've got. Uh... We have a calendar for 2018. This year is going to be awesome. This also is from the Awesome Pack people. It's a nice little refrigerator magnet. I have no fingers. No fingers, Dr. Jones. The small game. The part of the thing for Awesome Box is that basically you get one big game, one medium game, one small game, and then a couple other little goodies thrown in. Hmm. Kind of smells like them, too. It, it smells like, like Iron Man, too. Is that what you say? No, it smells like a dentist's office, almost. Oh, yeah. It's like plastic. But it's so sticky. It's, it's not just squishy. It's like adhesive. My hand's not sticky enough. Wait, what? Remember those old... Those things that rolled down the wall? Yeah, the, what the hell are they called? <laughs> I don't know. But that's definitely like, not what this is. It's like a little hand thing. You're supposed to flick it. So this is Iron on. Man. Squishy. Hey. Oh, not intended for wood surfaces. What? This is a wood surface and it... It's doing fine. Staining may occur. Staining may occur? Dispose of the product if it leaks. <laughs> Do not taunt Happy Fun Ball. <laughs> Iron Man, do you have a leak? <laughs> I know Tony Stark has trouble taking a leak in that thing, but shit, I didn't realize the... Uh, yep, there's, there's a lot of liquid in there. Liquid? Liquid. <laughs> a lot of liquid. Yeah, there's a lot of liquid in there. It's buckwheat. So, yeah, we don't collect squishies, so... <laughs> this thing's getting passed along. To somebody, yeah. Do a good home. It is. Oh, whoa! Don't throw <laughs> them around. Bouncy. It bounces like a hell. Except it's also sticky. And it wants to stick to the table. Yeah, it's it's a so weird. Anyway, he's gonna be there for the rest of. The it's a weird sponge stick. All right. <laughs> dirty game, dirty mimes. The game of naughty clues. You see this one at. Um. Target? No, well, I don't think Target has it. Target usually doesn't sell the dirty stuff. It's, um, it's a Spencer's gift, usually. Oh, yeah. It could probably be at other places, of course. That place. Nothing is as dirty as it seems, though. So it's naughty clues, but it's actually a cleaner game, is what they're trying to say. Hmm. And There's two different versions of it here. This one. First version, a geek rating of... Five, almost even, and but at Amazon, uh, a new Amazon list price of nine ninety nine. So you expect that from a hanging game, right? Uh, this is like to test this. It says, "I am a four letter word. I am a name for a woman, and I end in U N T." <laughs> and the answer is ant. Or aunt. If you thought anything else, you have a dirty mind, it says. So that's how that game is played. 
Playtime, 45 minutes. I know most games kind of lowball you, but... But I feel like that's that's highing it. I feel like it's up there. Unless, of course, you're playing with, like, six players. Yeah, that could be. The uh, weight of this game is a 1.16. So it's really simple game, of course. This is just one of those things where you're screaming out answers to clues. Uh, go back up again. <laughs> it's ranked 15,846 overall, which, you know... It's not terribly bad, really, when you go into 100,000 games. Yeah. But you got to remember how many of those aren't ranked at all. Mm. That changes things. Yeah. And a 4.0 in... Um, what's this number called? There's one number that is the, the... Average rating? The average rating, and another number is the Board Game Geek rating. Mm. So that's probably the average user rating right there, which Board is game pretty geek low. Five. Yeah, it was a five even on board game for, for board game geek, but a four for the average user rating. I'm kicking the button so, the breakdown a little low. Uh, right where you'd expect for that type of game. And so far not a great value, because this thing so uh, we said five nine nine max. Oh. That's nine nine nine. Here's the ratings breakdown. Four people gave it a ten, one gave it four a four people nine. really liked it. Seven gave it an eight. Twenty gave it a seven. 57 gave it a 6, 83 gave it a 5, 114 gave it a 4, 92 gave it a 3, 66 to 2, and 31 people thought this was a one game. Yeah. Like a one star. Next. Oh, this is handy. We have an expansion pack for the Munchkin card game. Oh, we have that. Which we did... After it came out, we did. We, uh, still have those, we haven't played it. We we still have those three, what two that uh, came in the. Yeah, we yeah, we still have, we still have an answer D. Open it. It's not, it's not, it's not open those yet. So we have two of the starter boxes. Of course, this is what three ninety nine. Again, what are these? Uh, what are these three ninety nine? Collectible card that. game. Yeah. We haven't even played the collectible card game yet, so we really don't know how much we're going to enjoy it. But I love. You know, the yeah, silliness of Munchkin, you know, that's not one of my favorite games. Yeah. It's still fun. It's still like fun oh, when you want to. There. The booster, which you're not going to get a price that way. Yeah, there's no price thing, but still. It's one of the original 12 card boosters. I think they only have one booster set out right now. Yeah, four dollars, three ninety nine, basically. All right. Here's the big boy, and this time, I guess it's supposed to be like one big game, one medium game, one small game is what they had said. But I guess with uh, Dirty Mimes and the Munchkin card expansion, maybe they count those as the small and the medium. Mm -hmm. Or they're just counting this as so big that it fills up everything else, because this is the last thing in the box. Mm. Apocrypha, the adventure card game. I'd heard of this. This is box one, the world, so it's expandable. I'm not sure this is going to take it over the top value-wise. Uh, brand new on Amazon for 40 bucks. So 40, 50, 60 bucks maybe. We came maybe. out. We came out about 10 bucks ahead. But here's the thing. Go back one. For a game I really wasn't wasn't on my radar. This is a geek rating of 5.7, an average rating of 7. So the users are rating it pretty high. It is expandable, so it is something we might be able to get into more down the road. We will definitely try it out. Right. Probably do a video for it since it's fairly new. How old is this now? Uh, Last year. Published by Lone Shark Games. Stats. Playing stats. Not stats. <laughs> Not in stats. 
It supposedly has a 3.77 difficulty rating. On yeah, board no. game geeks oh. on on board game geeks five point weight scale. So the way is this the... might not be the easiest game for us to learn. Oh, also this game says it's sixty minutes. There's no playtime. I would hope not. Probably gonna be more like three hours. Three or four hours the first time we play it. Especially the first time. Especially the first time I play it. Even when we get good at it, it might be uh, double the normal playtime. It does have solo rules from a company called Lone Shark Games. I would, you know, it's nice that they have solo player games. So yeah, I want to say I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I will say I'm a little disappointed there wasn't more in here just for variety wise, but you know the, the dirty mind game, the dirty minds thing, just throw away. The Munchkin cards we'll definitely use. The little squishy you, somebody will enjoy that. Maybe it'll sit on somebody's shelf until we get rid of it. So I don't know, reviews on Apocrypha, is it going to be uh, good enough that it... You can play it cooperative or as a game, with a game master as a role-playing game. The world is on the brink of apocalypse, set in motion by monsters only your characters can see. Well, that's handy. I think that's called uh, need to be locked up in a sinus asylum. Mars is amazing. <laughs> Rado has a review of it. If you want to go look on his, uh, Gaudy Monger has one on BGG, and there are like seventy people wanting it in trade. So. The good thing about Board Game Geek is if I do get a game I really, really don't want to keep around, man, I can trade it for something that I do want. Yeah. And just the luck of the average values works out. But, but opening these is another, what, $10 worth of fun right there. Yeah. And you're not paying any extra for shipping this way because... If you got these off of cool stuff, they're not worth a hundred bucks total, so you'd be paying shipping. So, the highest rated number is an eight. Sixty-seven people gave it that. Fifty-six people gave it a seven. Twenty-seven gave it a six, and twenty-five gave it a nine, with varying numbers. Three people gave this a one, and seven gave it a two. But fifteen people. How? Gave it a five. There are, there are 15 people that gave it a 1, 2, or a 3, but 15 people gave it a 10 as well. So those wash. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, here's one of, the review, one of the review comments. Wow, this game is suck. <laughs> he means it sucks. Uh, Pathfinder with some overcomplicated tweaks. That's that 3.77 difficulty. And I have to learn all the bleeping terminology again. And in the end... I'm still doing is making a skill check from a dice pool a location after flipping the top card of the location deck. Oh boy. <laughs> it's like I bought another PACG game, except thankfully I was playing someone else's game. Which apparently hasn't been entirely delivered because Kickstarter has only shipped out the base game. Whatever. So again, like we said, they could have been waiting on Kickstarter fulfillments. And this was the only thing they ended up with. They also could have been waiting for like we said, a third game to squeeze in here to try and make it seem like it had more value. Yeah. But we complained, we complained, or we waited too long to end up throwing that munchkin in instead. He's, I, I really don't hold it too against them that it took no, so no, long. No. It's a little no, upsetting no. that they they sort of make a promise mm -hmm. and then ignore it. Yeah. Like, okay, you're going to have it in a week, but you're not. Yeah. So if they would just drop that and say, you're going to have it when you have it, <laughs> eh, honesty's good. That might be fine, right? I don't know why. It's always so fun to read some of the lower comments. 
ones that give it a one or yeah, a two. Yeah. Again, a lot of these reviews, though, are complaining because... Yeah, there's one. It was on Kickstarter apparently way back in April of 2015 <laughs> and 2018. Now people are finally getting their, their copies, minus some of the uh, expansions they promised. And that's where I heard this game before, wasn't it? I, I had seen it only on as a Kickstarter thing. I That's why I've never seen it on board games. I, I never want, looked it up on the Geek. I kind of want to play it now because it says like Pathfinder. <laughs> I know. Yeah, everybody's comparing Pathfinder in a smaller box. Yay! Everyone's comparing it to Pathfinder on here as well. Plus, it, plus they said that it could all, that it also has more of like a GM role playing game. And it's a solo adventure. Well, so is Pathfinder. That's true. I think that I can include Instead of Pathfinder's you know, fantasy D and D ripoff universe, this is set in a contemporary sort of horror universe. Kind of like the X Men. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be interesting. What are your final thoughts? If you got this, if you got this in the mail and didn't pay for it, would you be excited? That's one question. If I if I got something in the mail and didn't pay for it, I'd be excited. It could be a roll of <laughs> socks. I'd still be excited. Okay, but I'm I'm saying <laughs> instead of another birthday present, hmm. if 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 you said, you know, you didn't give me a birthday present this year, I said, well, it's coming in the mail. Hmm. And this shows up, and then I said, "Well, that was your birthday present." Is is this is this good enough? If you didn't pay for it, didn't know it was coming, this would be good. So, so it's a good gift. So it would make a good gift. It would make a good gift. Definitely. If you're if you're looking for a gift for a gamer, and you don't even know what they like, then certainly you could throw this in. And this comes in two styles. This is the gamer bundle for fam. The big family gamer, it's called big family, I think. Mm. The other one is for little little kids, families. So it would have more fun games. It wouldn't have had dirty minds, for instance. And it probably wouldn't have apocrypha because this is kind of dark themed and everything. It would probably have three lighter games. And maybe that's another thing you, I can you know, give them benefit of the doubt on. Maybe they just sell more of the family packs. That could be the ones that are targeted toward kids. And so when they get a few customers <laughs> like us. And they're like, oh man, we gotta scramble to get something for the adults. Yeah. That that could be. But in terms of that, I think, yeah, Apocrypha really fits the bill of an adult family game yeah. that you wouldn't want to put in a kid's family game, probably. Yeah. And certainly Dirty Minds, of course. I have we'll have to we'll have to play some of these games sometime. Little. The Munchkin can go in any one. This little guy, of course, could go in either one. Yeah. No offense, Tony. So many of Tony in there. Actually, it's, it's goo. Hmm. It's, it's Hydro Man. It's goo. It's just liquid. Warm liquid goo face. Warm liquid is when we. I get fingered a lot. Phrasing. People love to stick me in their mouth. Yeah. Just looking at me can make a woman drool. I am approximately six inches long. <laughs> My nuts can get stuck in your mouth on occasion. <laughs> what am I? Snickers? Eh, candy bar. Candy bar. <laughs> that was a little too specific. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't make it! Spider Iron Man! Iron Spider! Oh, he only works once. He's starting to lose his goo. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the player who bought this dun, game dun, always goes dun, first. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, now we're in trouble. Uh, we we need a ruling. Button. Technically, you bought the box. That came you bought the, the box that came with. The I, game, I so. bought the membership. Yeah. That delivered the box to us that had the game in it, but I didn't personally buy this. Therefore, we need a ruling. You go, uh, you go first. That's it, it would probably be me. Yeah. One of the things that would be um, interesting to see is the next box that's coming in the mail. So you want to, you want to like, 
compare them both and make sure. We are we are getting another one. Yeah. And we'll see how late this one is and how big of a pain it is to actually get here. And whether it does go back to the three in a box thing. Yeah. And whether or not it actually, or if it just comes with a huge one like Apocrypha here. Because I've seen pictures of what they've sent in the past, and it's usually, even the big one is, is usually smaller than this Apocrypha. Uh, oh, uh, Pandemic was in there one time, Helios. Um, I can't remember very many others. And those were usually, those were the bigger ones out of the box. Because price-wise, they would be the, the highest. What just so Are you supposed rules? to read them all or only read a few? I didn't actually read the instructions. <laughs> I didn't actually read the rules. Rules are for losers. Just randomly. If you never read the rules, you can never actually lose because... I am a four-letter word. Yeah. I end in U-C-K. Mm -hmm. I can help you grow a big bulge in your pocket. <laughs> That's it? There's two more, but... Luck? Luck. I got it on three. Let's see. I am a four-letter word. You need to be flexible to do me. Can you do it in two? Can I do it in two? A four-letter word, you need to be flexible? Yeah. Yoga? Yoga. <laughs> this game's too easy, I guess. Okay, let's try one. No, I no, can't do it in one. I can keep your post erect. Concrete? Yeah. <laughs> I did one! I can name that tune! <laughs> I'm not even kidding, it is the first one on there. Look at that! Yeah, this game's too easy, so we're back. Well, Colton, we're back. Waiting for it to crash again. I know, the camera just crashed a minute ago, so we're trying here. We've got Colton still in his Slytherin shirt, which I'm pretty sure he was wearing last time. Was I? Yeah, because I was just editing some of the video. <laughs> So you only no, have no, one shirt, it's fine. Only shirt I have. You only, only, have, one. One only have one shirt in the entire world. Skulking behind him off to the side is Doth Alex. He's this is like a, like a pile of like green hoodie. Yeah, could be. He is watching over us because he is both our director and our producer. And <laughs> he looks so like... He is not happy with... He looks the, so sick of your shit. He's just over there like this. Is because... This is just the follow-up to the original one. We're gonna just, I'm just gonna pop this right on the end of it. This is the second awesome pack. It also is two months behind, so the exact same problems. It showed up after I complained with a tracking number that didn't track immediately. But uh, we'll just want to see what's in here. You did not bring a laptop to try and check on prices. Oh shit! Should I? On a day when our camera is crashing a lot, we are pushing it to the limit. So now, magically, we have the laptop. Magically, yeah. To look up, Bugugugu. Bugugugu. It's just Bugugugu. Oh, BGG, right. Bugugugu. Which it still remembers that I was there. Bugugugu. I was given a very sharp instrument, different than my other sharp instrument. You have no evidence we aren't doing this on the same day. <laughs> We're getting dangerously close Just to the pressure. Word. Take it away, Mr. Producer. You do not wish to get hurt on the set. Take the Faja away. Your insurance would go up. Yeah, we have like... I don't think he has insurance. Four on rooms we could do this in, and we're picking the busiest one, of course. Yeah. Because the well, uh, the wait is over. Lit. It's awesome time again. Okay, anyway, don't, finally, after don't three open months. it, otherwise I won't be surprised. Yeah, after three I months. love being awesome because being awesome is awesome. Wow. Does That's does smart. Jason Levine have anything to do? With this? Okay, yeah, it's for you Dice Tower fans. There are two of them in there. We get two postcards. Two postcards to send to somebody to to tell to give them an awesome day. To share our awesome day with them. Or are they trying to get us to be like, hey, you know, there's things on, on there. There's also can, have a free that. advertising, yeah, isn't it? Advertising. Yeah, it's also I'm just going to reach in here. I'm not going to look. I wonder if those are for there's sale There's at least on one here. big thing in there, which is about normal. Let's see. Okay, here's another little tiny thing. Oh, we have... Oh, it's tiny. Oh, Five Crowns, which is a game I have, but I have the regular card game version. This looks like mints. But this is mini round five crowns. So it's a uh, set match game. 
See if you can find the ten of this. I put Mimi. So five crowns. So five crowns. I was gonna put mini cr crowns. Five. Mini crayons. Mini crowns. <laughs> wow, how do you get that open? Well, here's the mini round. Five crowns mini rounds. Board game rank not available. No, it's not rankable. I want to show you this though. Mini games are all the rage. Micro games. Average rating. The rules. Goodness, well, they're tiny. I could swallow this thing. Pretty close. What? Are you? These are the oh, rules. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> no, just no. Oh, oh, I kind of oh, like no. it. This is this is going in somebody's stocking for Christmas. <laughs> I'll bet. This is this is so cool. And these cards are so tiny. It reminds me when I was a kid and the landlord for some reason bought us. Easter, big big Easter box, and what one of the things that was in it was this really tiny set of playing cards. It's the first time I'd seen tiny cards. And you hated them ever since. Hated them ever since. My hands are not meant for this. I think I already damaged them. Great. You'll suck. So their major value now is gone. Major value, they have uh, no price on it, but here's the original five crowns. I'm going to look them up on eBay. Okay, so, the tin or something? Here's your oh, okay. cards. Ebay. Ebaya, apparently, is what I'm looking up. E-B-Y-A. E Ebaya. Boy, you have a real problem with uh, internet searching today. I don't actually use this this keyboard, usually. And, of course, they're paper thin. Cheap. Not expecting a lot from this. But if you're traveling and you like five rounds... Crowns. <clears throat> I was reading the thing on here. It says a, a mini round. It was like mini round of five crowns. So I said round instead. Oh, they got ads for some of their other games. I think I should probably at least give them a shout out for this. Uh, Quiddler is kind of fun. Uh, Zactica, which I have not played. Five Crowns Junior. That's a good way to start kids with uh, set collection games. Set Junior and Set Dice. And then the original set. I don't know. Three dice games in one box. I'll bet Set Dice would be fun just to, as a time filler. Oh, yeah, only two of these have sold. Yeah? Somebody made out like a bandit. One sold for $6 with uh, free shipping from Thailand. Yeah. The other one sold. Thailand. <clears throat> the other one sold at uh, $4.49 with $5.50 shipping. So again, we'll call this the $5.99 item in the box. This is a very small little thing. No wonder if this is supposed to be the small board game or if this is the extra. I have to reach around here. He's going to get a reach around. Oh, 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 something sharp in here. Actually, it feels like there's only three things in here. This is very disappointing if it is. Well, the next game is Pretense. Hmm. Post a pack. Game Night Social Meta Game. It's very light. Meta game. It has only 24 roll cards and a rule book. Oh. It's board game night. Players are dealt rolls and have the entire night to complete their secret objectives. So it's a game you play while you're playing games. This is actually rated. Yeah. I would imagine it would be. It's sort of meta. 8,581. 5.55 on the, the geek rating. Average rating 5.77. Number of voters 256. Well, thank you all for voting so because now a, we know it's something. So it's a game you play while you stuff. play a game. Yeah, apparently you've got these secret objectives and you just play it all night long. And then at the end of the game you're like, I got my objective. La, la, la. I win pretense as well as all whatever that else That could be I fun, want. especially if you do like a month this, long. This could be a thing because you could set it for different time periods. Like you said, it could be all month long. Yeah. You could set a trophy around it. We like doing trophies and yeah. like building trophies. Like, oh, I won the pretense trophy for February or whatever. Yeah, and we can even do year-long trophies. Wow, it's, it it just has a lot of potential. I don't I can know. See something interesting. Ag there. published it, so they believed in it. Yeah. Now what are you into? No, oh, you're gonna to look, look up, up its value. It doesn't have a value on board game. Games, I'm so. still guessing like nine ninety nine. Although this could be I'm actually 14, closer to eleven. This is a fourteen ninety nine mm -hmm. range. Yeah. There's that one. It's in that low filler price range. So that's good. This one, for some reason, I looked up pretense game, and I'm getting Small World Necromancer Island. Matching fewer words. Right, oh, but yeah. how many fewer words was it? Game. All of yes. them. <laughs> how many fewer words? It just removed your entire. Oh no! Okay. Game. They also threw in the Quiddler. 
the small quiddler version. Quiddler. So another, um, you know, this is the spelling game, one of those Scrabble type card games. So that's fun. And it's then good. we got something Alex is it's gonna a, like. It's a 5.59 quiddler mini does round. It, does it have combat? I would hope so, unless it's totally Euro. I'm hoping for Because he's looking ahead. I'm staying. Queen Games. I'm very happy with Queen Games. They don't get a lot of publicity. Templar's Journey. And anything to do with the Templars, Alex tends to like. Or combat-oriented anything. I don't see a lot of combat-type thing on here. This looks more... I can't spell Journey. <laughs> I put J U R O. Journey. It's not G O R N E. Journey. So this looks like a big game, but the board on the back makes it look Ooh. much smaller than it is. It's not rated very high, only 10,477. Yeah, I'm guessing there's not a lot of game in here for as big as the box is. Number of voters 60. Average rating is a 6.25. Geek rating is a 5.528. Amazon is listed at about sixteen dollars. Sixteen? Fifteen ninety seven. Well that's the that's that Amazon price. You should look it up on the Amazon. Obey. 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 Because that might be somebody just just, just getting a Yeah. Juarni. But that's it for the box. Too. So they're basing their whole value on this box's value. And I'm guessing that's not sixty bucks. This is not the sixty dollar game that they, they could put in there. Depending on where you bought it, though, this could sell in game stores for 60 bucks, brand new the first week it was out, but I doubt it would stay there very long. I'll give you a, a little shot of the back here. That's why I don't have a lot of hope in it. Alex was hoping on some grand adventure with combat. I don't see that. This is talking more about the better you guess your opponent's choices, the more effective you could plan your moves and finally win the game. Oh, so it could be our game. Mm. Or in the original German... Je besser ein Spieler, sein Gegner, ein Schiratzen. Kann. In ich du ust. In ich du ust. Okay, we've learned one okay, thing. We can't do this. We've learned one thing today. Nobody in this room tried German. Not try German. Don't do it. Not very very it. little self teaching. Of course, right? I, don't. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. Collect gold, win the grace of the Pope, and recruit knights in the cities. It's a strategy game. You prepare the knights and Templar lords for the Holy Crusade in Jerusalem. Recruiting knights at the right moment in different cities is important to be able to place them on the ships once they set sail. Okay. Somebody seems to think this game's worth something. Each time players choose their cards, they can play safe, but not so worthwhile actions or more profitable ones. Okay. So basically the more is so basically the more risky you play, the greater your reward. But if one of the other players has chosen the same action, you'll receive the punishment for being too greedy. And they spelled too wrong. Do they? Yeah. So, <clears throat> the Molise brothers are the credited as the designers. Oh, we've got graphics by Klaus Stefan, Anna Kirsten. They're hmm. colorful, the board is. That's about all I can this say. This side that. stuff looks interesting too. Some sort of yeah, where they where they or... the outside of the board they did a great job on. The map is just kind of boring. The the people again, we're not reviewing this game yet, but in terms of Ooh, I like the boards too. The boards like some sort of book thing, just holding open in front of you. No, we'll review the board later. Yeah. This is Jeff mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, <laughs> definitely made for German market first. So it's a Euro, Lex. It's much, much more Euro Rick than you. you're going to like. Boy. We will play it. We'll probably review it. Somebody Euro. must think this game is like made of gold. Here's someone wanting $90 with $28 shipping. Well, that's probably because they're importing it. See, it's from UK. Mm. Now scroll up and down. It looks like that could be the trick here. Most of the stuff that's from sale is overseas. Here's one here. It's over. So this is a 40. bid, so it doesn't count. So if you go into what sold, I tried. It. I didn't find anything. Okay, I was already. It's new sold. enough. So, it's uh, new enough. They don't have any sold on eBay yet. Yeah. 
<laughs> that pops up. A land raider from War Kit from 40k pops up first first off. 36 bucks too. It's painted. Oh no wonder it's Black Templars. I was trying to figure out why. So I the gave one that. online, the basic thing was about forty dollars, not counting shipping. Yeah. And if you're at forty, fifty-five, sixty-five dollars, you could still say that for fifty dollars a month you got a better deal. I think that's basing most of the value on this game, though. Just like they, and, they did it last time. And BGG says that this game is like $16 on Amazon, so it's only yeah, that. Yeah, so it on. is possible to get this a lot cheaper, but it sounds like it's a little more rare in America right now. It hasn't really caught on here, yeah. I guess. Plus, the, the amount of games that have come out in the past two years... When was this put out? When, how old is this game? Uh, let's see. I have to go into it. I like BGG, I think. It was right there. Was it? Mm -hmm. Look at that top stuff. <sighs> Got too many browsers open, probably. Probably. Or it just wants to Yeah, this me. is a 2017. This may have debuted at Essen last year, in fact. Now that we are ready for this year's Essen, which we can't go to. Probably won't be. I tell you what, we'll to. start some sort of funding. You can send us to Essen next year. We are available for you. And hopefully we'll start reviewing games and get that done really soon. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I think our final word on Awesome Pack, because we're not going to do another one, yeah. is... You could get it if somebody else as a gift. Somebody who is just starting into board games. And if you know they like the idea of being surprised by something new all the time. And they don't have a lot of games to play yet. I can see this being a good thing. Yeah, it's also Am a bit I... of a surprise though whenever it comes. Oh my god, it's here. After yeah, know, I've got a present. <laughs> well, if it's a gift, they wouldn't know that they've been waiting yeah, that true. long. If you are planning on getting something like this for somebody for Christmas, make sure you do your first one at least two months out. Mm. That way they'll get it close to Christmas. That's my that's my biggest yeah. thing. Don't expect to be getting a great deal for your money yeah. or necessarily getting the greatest games out there. Yeah. I still think that what I said earlier in the first part of the video is probably true. They're waiting to get stuff in bulk cheap. And then they kind of throw it into packs, which could be why they always seem to be behind on delivery, mm -hmm. because they wait and see how many people have signed up and then start putting the packs together. I think that's probably what they're doing, and it's not necessarily a bad business model. I don't even think it's that really that deceptive. I, it would be better to not say, okay, you need to get your payment in by the 15th or whatever in order to get on the list for this month thing that you're going to get in another week or two when you're not going to get that for two more months it gets a little more if you were a regular subscriber and you're always two months behind and getting that every month i guess then it's not so bad just don't forget that you're two months behind or when you cancel you'll lose your last two you'll, you'll have overpaid i don't know what their uh, quality control is on that so it is with a grain of salt that I tentatively recommend the Awesome Pack for gifts for friends. But for serious gamers, now I think anybody who's already said this, this is nothing new. Yeah. It's not really something We're just treading old ground. It's just that nothing's changed, basically, is what we're kind of going over right now. There's Especially since no one has done a review lately. I think, <clears throat> I think yeah. that gives this some validity. <laughs> Thank you.